Ayo and welcome back to Ayo World. Today we'll be exploring the wonderful city of Hamburg. Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany and a major port city connected to the North Sea by the Elbe River. Every season is a good time for a visit to this beautiful city, but we Ayo recommend the end of August to beginning of September. Spring and autumn are also great times for a trip, but no matter the season, remember to pack a rain jacket, as rain showers are a common occurrence here. Hamburg is the perfect destination for an ideal mix of culture and class in the city where industry meets relaxation. You will arrive in Hamburg either at the airport or at Central Station via train. The airport is a multi-storey building consisting of Terminal 1, Terminal 2 and the Airport Plaza which is located between the two terminals. Arrivals are located on the ground floor and departures on the first floor. There are two train stations at the airport, Airport Plaza and Terminal 1. You also have the option of renting a car from the airport. There are trains on the S1 line from Central Station to the airport every 10 minutes. The trip takes about 25 minutes. A taxi from downtown Hamburg to the airport will take about half an hour. Don't forget to consider that traffic on the A7 can be quite heavy due to construction sites and this can cause delays. The suburban and underground train lines, shortened with S and U-Bahn, are the most cost-efficient and convenient way to get around in Hamburg. From Central Station, you can access all public transport lines. Tickets for public transport can be purchased at the machines at the stations. The city is divided into rings, and with each additional ring, the ticket price is more expensive. There is also the option to purchase the Hamburg card, the Hamburg card is a personalised card that offers free usage of public transportation, up to 50% off 150 sites and tourist spots, and 20% off in selected restaurants. For more information on details on public transport, ticket options and prices, visit our website aoworld.org. One of the most famous spots in Hamburg is the Jungfernstieg. Its name originates from a Sunday ritual in the mid-17th century when wealthy families in Hamburg would take their unmarried daughters, known as Jungfern, out for a walk. The Jungfernstieg is an urban promenade connecting the Binnenalster with surrounding shops and many different sites. It's a lovely place to sit down and relax, do some shopping or enjoy the local cafes. The Jungfernstieg is an ideal spot to wind down with an ice cream by the water. Hamburg's town hall was built in the style of the Northern German Renaissance and is credited as being one of the most beautiful buildings in Hamburg. There are guided tours in German, English and French on a daily basis. For more information, visit our website. The St. Nikolai Church not only offers a great viewpoint 76 metres up its 150 metre church tower, but is also the beautiful location of the memorial for the fallen in the Second World War. There is also a museum and exhibit located in the basement of the church. You can reach St. Nikolai from the bus or U-Bahn station, Rödlingsmarkt. A great way to spend a sunny day in Hamburg is renting a canoe and canoeing on the Alster, a right tributary of the Elbe River. One of the biggest advantages of canoeing is that you can explore some lovely areas that can't be seen from the streets. It's a relaxing and peaceful activity that is highly AO recommended. The rentals are typically available from April to October. Whilst canoeing, make sure you stop at the Café Canal at the Muenkamp Channel. It couldn't be easier to get something to drink and a delicious piece of cake on your canoe. Simply ring the bell that's attached to the building and a friendly member of staff will take your order at the quaint window and then hand you your order. A very cute and AO recommended experience. An impressive landmark of this lovely harbour city is the main Protestant church, St. Michaelis. There is a viewing platform at 132 metres that's open from 10am until 6pm. For more detailed information on ticketing, visit our website aoworld.org. 
In the middle of this beautiful city is the Planten and Blumen. The park is full of wide green areas, flower beds, ponds and brooks as well as themed gardens. During the summer, there are concerts every now and then in the music pavilion. From May through September, there is a water concert accompanied by colourful lights at 10pm, which takes place during the day without light accompaniment at 2, 4 and 6pm. The entrance is free and the experience is highly AO recommended. Make sure to arrive early enough for a decent view. Hamburg is known throughout Germany for its musicals. There are five musical venues, of which the Theatre on the Port is the most well-known for its production of The Lion King. Be sure to check the performance language before buying tickets, as most performances will be in German. Three times a year the Dorn Volksfest takes place in Hamburg. This is a city festival with various events and rides once in winter, spring and summer. When visiting the festival, it's definitely recommended to arrive on public transport, as parking spaces are limited and costly. For further information on opening times and directions, visit our website. The piers off the Hamburg Harbour, known as Landungsbrücken, are a fantastic AO photo location. They're also a great place to experience the bustling harbour activity. A highly recommended feature is the viewpoint, where locals and tourists alike can enjoy the beautiful panoramic view of the Hamburg piers. A great way to explore the hidden corners of the harbour is adventuring through the 426 metre long Elbe Tunnel. You can also use this tunnel to get to the Old Country or Wilhelmsburg. For information on how to get there, visit our website aoworld.org. Hamburg's nightlife is centred around one of the most famous streets in the world, the Reeperbahn. The street originally became well known as the city's red light district. Nowadays there is a lot less prostitution and the area is full of live music, discos, clubs and smaller dance bars. The street is still the location for strip and pole dance clubs as well as brothels, but these are no longer in the foreground. Another highlight in Hamburg is a harbour boat tour. The boat tours can be done during the day or at night. There are different kinds of tours that last from one to two hours. Not all boats in the harbour are there for trips. The Rigma Rigmers, for example, is the floating landmark of this wonderful city. This boat museum is the location for various special exhibits, as well as an exhibit on the history of the Rigma Rigmers itself. The boat even has an official post office on board with its own stamp. This most certainly makes sending a letter from here worth it. An absolute must for all visitors to Hamburg is the fish market. Every Sunday morning, the early birds and the late night party goers meet here surrounded by friendly vendors selling everything from fish to fruit baskets and clothing. To top it off, there's even entertainment on site. There is always a party with loud live music and early morning alcohol in the fish auction hall. This all definitely makes for a Sunday morning to remember. Another thing that should be on everyone's Hamburg bucket list are the traditional fish buns that can be found on every corner near the harbour. For the historically interested, there is the Submarine Museum. The submarine is a still operational remainder from the Soviet Union and is the worldwide largest submarine not powered by nuclear energy. Due to the tight nature of the submarine, the visit is not recommended for persons with physical disabilities or claustrophobic tendencies. For further information on the Submarine Museum, visit our website aoworld.org. The Elbe River not only offers harbours and promenades, but also a beach area. The Elbe Beach is in a very wealthy part of the city, surrounded by parks and green areas. This is the perfect place for dog owners, athletes and people just looking for a nice place for a walk or to watch the container ships from afar. The Elbe Beach is an ideal depiction of the contrast between industry and relaxation. There's even the possibility to barbecue, provided you don't leave a mess behind. If you don't fancy cooking yourself, then there's always the option to find a seat in the surrounding restaurants that offer a lovely view of the river. One of the most famous Hamburg landmarks is the Elbphilharmonie, or Elbphilharmonic Hall. 
This is a concert hall known as the Art Landmark for All and holds up to 2,100 people. The Elbphilharmonie shows films and hosts workshops and artist lectures. For more information and details, visit our website. Near the Elbphilharmonie, there is the new city district called Hafen City or Harbour City. This is Europe's biggest inner city development project, including modern architecture, parks and restaurants. Hamburg is also the location of the worldwide biggest model train set. Cars, boats and even aeroplanes are in motion day and night during simulations and small figurines and scenarios complete the wonderful miniature land in a very realistic way. There are over 200 buttons available that make the experience very interactive. A guided tour is highly AO recommended to allow you to experience this mini land from a whole new perspective through an exclusive entrance with fewer visitors and a VIP insight into this scaled world. You can also find one of the 40th UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Hamburg, the Speicherstadt. The Speicherstadt is the world's largest warehouse complex. This area offers various activities for a fun day out. For the perfect sunset picture, be sure to visit the Pogenmuhr Bridge in the evening. Make sure to check out our website aoworld.org for more details and helpful tips. Want to be part of AO World and not miss out on any new locations? Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in Hamburg.